What's up? Today, I'm actually gonna be talking about how I plan on getting my life together. I'm always constantly trying to grow and get better. That's just what my mind's always set on. My life is not in pieces right now. I don't feel like that at all. But the reason I'm doing this is because I just have something inside me that wants to revamp things, start fresh, and really get everything together. I wanna be a little bit more organized. Everyone's always thinking into the future and not actually doing in the moment. So today I'm gonna take it into my own hands to actually make shit happen. I wanna set this video up in a way that sets me up to form habits rather than to achieve goals. Because I feel like the only way to achieve goals is to create a system that helps you get there rather than just having a goal and no real direction on how to get to that goal. I know there's so many different ways to form habits and to organize your life, like bullet journaling, using your calendar on your phone, using your notes, actually having a physical journal that you write in or a physical calendar. There's so many different ways. And I'll be honest, I've tried probably every single one of them. And there are a few different things that work for me. I really like using the calendar on my laptop and in my phone. I like using my notes and I like using my iPad. So those are kind of the ways that I found are the most useful for me. I do like writing things down, which is why I like using my iPad. I like having everything in one place that I can easily get to where I can get to it on my iPad, my phone, or my laptop. My issue is having an organizational system. I kind of just throw everything into those places and I don't have a system, I don't have a method to the madness. I don't sit down on Mondays and plan the week, which is kind of the habit that I wanna start forming. I kinda wanna discuss where I'm lacking and where I'm thriving and how I can help my weaknesses and kind of build from there and make sure they're a little bit stronger than they are, at least a little bit. Now, before we get into this video, I do have to thank our paid partnership and that is the Tammy app. The Tammy app is a dating app, but it's not just your typical dating app. It is a lot more than just that. Fun little fact, my girlfriend and I didn't meet on a dating app, but we matched on a dating app and that's what kind of sparked our conversation. I messaged her. She did. Like I said, the Tammy app is not just your typical dating app. It's an LGBT dating app and also it's kind of a social platform where you can interact with different people all at once, like using their streaming feature. Here is what their interface looks like. You can click on somebody and watch their live. And if you are going to do a live, you can perform, you can entertain, you can show your personality. This is what the homepage looks like. Kind of gives you an idea of what you'll be seeing when you log in. And also what it will look like when you're looking at different people to possibly connect with. So you can see their profile, their pictures, their interests and hobbies, a description, and then you can either thumbs them up or give them a heart or just move on to the next one. So it's very simple and very easy to use and a really, really great interface. As we all know, this pandemic is not completely over. So having the video call option is a great way to have a first date. They do have a compatibility quiz. And this is a great way to actually see if someone would be a compatible match with you rather than just swiping based on their appearance. Tammy is a social network that stands for equality, freedom, and expression, acceptance and advocacy of the LGBTQIA plus rights all over the world. Tammy has collaborated with Gay Times, Attitude, The Outline, Pink News, Dive, and so much more. Now, as I mentioned, this video is all about how to get your life together. And I can assure you, once your life is complete, it is the perfect time to add a significant other. So once you feel 100% whole and happy within yourself, it is a perfect time to get out there and start dating. So I would recommend using the Tammy app to do so. Be sure to download the Tammy app now and let me know when you find your perfect map. To start, I'm going to start planning my month 
and my week. I've decided that to build this habit, I'm gonna have to set days for these certain things. The first Monday of each month is going to be my monthly scheduling day. I'm going to roughly plan out the entire month on my calendar. That way I have an idea of videos that need to be filmed. I have an idea of trips that I'm gonna be on, uh, events that I'm not gonna be able to work certain days, um, and just kind of a rough idea of what's going on that month. Then on each Monday at the beginning of the week, I'm gonna start planning out the actual week, more of a day to day, what I'm actually doing every single day. I know I'll be able to stick to this habit because so far Mondays have been a really good work day for me. So I know I'm going to be able to set time aside to really dig into everything I need to do. A form of note taking that has worked for me really well is just using the notes on my iPhone. I've been doing it for quite some time now and sometimes it does get a little bit messy. I basically take notes on video ideas. I take notes on emails that I have to send out. One thing that I did do last time I organized my notes was I made um, a few different folders. So here are my folders and I've kind of categorized them. My most used is very straightforward. It is my most used notes. And that's basically the folder that I put everything in at this point. It's kind of turned into a, another dump. Like you can see there's 38 notes in here. So I definitely want to go in and kind of organize that. This note I created a long time ago and it basically has all these video ideas, things that I needed to do, videos I needed to create, OnlyFans content ideas and different things like that. It has inspiration and rebranding my content ideas. It has the podcast idea, which this was like the beginning of my podcast. It was all in this one note. And so there are parts of this note that I've already completed. And then there are parts of this note that I really wanted to create a habit and I didn't. So I'm gonna bring you down to that part of the note. So this says goals for the next three months. And this is a personal part of this video. This I wanna get my life on track personally as well, not just when it comes to work or when it comes to working out, but personally, um, Am I reaching out to friends that I want to speak to on a weekly basis? Am I putting in an effort there? Am I speaking to my sister and my mom on a daily basis? So working out three times a week. Overall, I have been trying to stick to a workout routine. Cooking most meals you eat. This is something that I have been able to stick to. Hanging out with friends at least once a week. I've been making more friends now that I live in LA. It has been difficult to make friends as an adult. People are in relationships, people have work, so it's hard to meet up with people once a week. But I Actually, I made a friend that I have recently the past couple weeks gone to happy hour every single week with her. So I'm gonna say I have done that and I do plan to do that more often. Like I said, I wanna reach out to more friends, make more friends and more, and more meaningful deep connections. So that's something that I want to work on. And I think my plan for that is to reach out, is to make the effort because I think that's the hardest part and most people kind of lack is reaching out. And then it says, talk to a family member at least once a day. I think I could be better about this. The next one is to pray and visualize one time a day. I do this, but I think I need to really set a time to do this every single day. And then the last one is be in nature one time a week. When I lived in NorCal, I would drive to the beach or I would drive to the woods or I drive to the lake and I would sit there and I would read, have a coffee and just enjoy being in nature. And I haven't done that here in LA yet. And I think it's harder because NorCal, there's a lot of open space and a lot of trees and a lot of woods and a lot of everything and everything's super easy to get to. Whereas here, it's not as easy to do that. So I think that's something that I could work on is finding a place to be outside. I'm sitting here at Daisy's soccer game. And I was thinking getting my life together is also figuring out finances, which I haven't discussed yet in this video. And I feel like it's very important. I am about to get extra comfy with you right now because we are gonna talk about something that's extra uncomfy, finances. For some reason, talking about how much money you make is very uncomfortable. And I think it's because we compare ourselves to other people. But this entire year, I've been working on not comparing myself to others and being proud of myself in the moment. This past two years has financially been like the best 
two years of my financial life, I guess. Not like life, life. actually no, it's been, it's been a good two years as well. But financially, it's been a really good two years for me. This year has been a little bit harder in the terms of like growth, but overall it's been a really good year. I think something that's helped me is talking to a friend that also does kind of a similar job to me she does youtube and talking with her about our finances has helped me grow like because she's taught me if i never opened up about that with her i would never have known how to do the things that she does and that she's been doing that's helped her so i feel like it's a really good thing to talk about your finances especially at this age because I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm just trying to figure it the fuck out. So today I'm gonna talk about that and it's gonna be difficult because I am a little bit uncomfortable. Here's a breakdown of my sources of income. It is brand deals and that includes everything for YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. It is AdSense, that includes everything for those places as well. It includes OnlyFans, obviously. Um, and then it also includes like freelance stuff and I also have crypto and like that type of stuff, but I don't, I'm not like including that because it's not like a source of income. It's just like something on the side that I'm doing. But those I would say are my four sources of income. It used to be that OnlyFans made me the most of my money. And now I would say brand deals, and like that type of thing makes me the most of my money. One thing that I've been struggling with is keeping track of everything and managing all of it and kind of seeing where my money is coming from and how much of it from where, because this is the second year that I'm doing this and where I'm like my own boss, like this is only the second year. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never like had a spreadsheet or anything like that. So this past month, I made a spreadsheet in October. I made a spreadsheet, I figured out how much of my money is coming from brand deals. And guys, it was a lot. I was really, really happy to see how much money I made from brand deals. I'm showing you guys that number. I don't know if this is how much I'm normally making from brand deals in a month, but this month was really, really good. Really, really grateful about that because I haven't been putting too much of my time in OnlyFans which has been really hard to see the numbers fall there. I think I'm just at a place where I really want to do it, but I don't wanna do it in the way that I've been doing it. I want to make it something new, I wanna change it up, and I wanna find like my love for OnlyFans again. Right now, I'm not really loving it. I'm not loving the content I'm creating, so it's hard for me to like get into it. So that's kind of the breakdown of that. And then as far as savings go, I have been dipping into my savings recently because I went on a few trips um, in the past few months. I went to Hawaii, spent a ton of money, and like I had to dip into my savings for some of these things, um, which I'm not happy about. I really want to save enough to buy a house soon. I think that's one of my main goals uh, financially. Like that's what I'm striving for. That's my, that's my why. Like my why is because I want to buy a house so fucking bad. The app that I use to kind of track everything right now is called Albert. So the way I have my savings set up is every time I get paid, I have a percentage of that going into these two separate savings accounts. One of them's in my actual bank account and then one of them's going onto my Albert app account. I don't know exactly how much comes out for that because it kind of just happens automatically and it tracks like, oh, if you made this much, it's gonna take out this much. Or if you made this much, you're gonna take out this much. So it's always kind of random on Albert, but then for my actual savings account, I have it set up where for every $100, it's taking out $20. So it's taking out 20% of everything I make and it's just going straight into my savings. And so that's kind of how I manage my savings because if not, like I forget to automatically put stuff in there. If I do make like a really big chunk of money at any point, I, and it's like extra, like it's not something that I need for like rent or food or any of that. I just throw that into my savings. And the Albert app, this is not sponsored, this is literally just what I use. It tracks um, if you have subscription services, if you're spending money in certain areas, it'll tell you like, you spent 30% of your income on shopping this month. Like it'll tell you what you did and it's sometimes very stressful. I also wanna do a spreadsheet so I'm like, physically inputting how much money I'm making and how much money I'm spending so that I have to like process that because I feel like sometimes when I see it on the app, I'm like, eh, it's not that bad. But if I typed in like, this is how much you spent, I probably won't think the same way. Oh my God, I spent a lot of money this month in October. 
I'm not feeling super confident in my spending. I think I'm not the worst person in the world. I'm not like a super big shopper. I don't eat out at restaurants, but I feel like I'm not managing my spending as well as I could be. And I am not exactly sure why. I think I just need to be more attached to it and more like aware of what I'm doing and where I'm spending. Maybe looking at my Albert app a little bit more often. For me, that's gonna be the best way to approach this is actually being more attentive and aware of like where I'm spending. I would say as someone who's running my own business and kind of has, it's like, it's a social media business, but someone who's running my own business, I don't even know how much money I make a month. I know I just showed you guys a random number, but that's not typical. Like, I'm not even sure what's typical at this point. And some months I'm really, really stressed out. Like, I know this number looks pretty big, I would say for the average person, but sometimes that's not the number and I don't want you to get discouraged. This took me a really long time to get to the point that I'm at. And I know for some people that number is like very small. And for some people that number is very huge. I remember when I was working corporate, I'll be straight up. I made around $4,000 a month. And that was like with taxes taken out and everything. Um, and for me, that was a huge number. And like seeing the number that I make now is definitely like an improvement and like very exciting. And obviously that's just on brand deals. So for this month, it has been a really good month. Like I said, some months are not, some months are like very sketch and I'm like, how the fuck am I going to live? Um, especially like not taking money out of my savings. I'm being as honest and real as I possibly can. Some months are like literally the complete opposite of this month. This is a good month and seeing that number is exciting, but also I know like next month might be the complete opposite and then I'm gonna have to split this money up into two. And you know, that's why saving is so important because especially when you have your own business, some months are gonna be so bad and some months are gonna be so good and you're gonna have to use the money that you saved if the month is bad. Yes, I'm really excited for myself and I'm really proud of myself because it took literally so long to be where I'm at right now. It, it definitely isn't easy. I think you always have to be on it and sometimes I don't know when to like shut off work. I do love my job so I'm f like I work longer hours than I would if I was at a corporate job but I feel like it's worth it for me because I'm so happy doing what I'm doing. I want to live uncomfortably so that one day I can be extremely comfortable which right now I do feel very comfortable and I'm very happy for that and grateful because there have been times in my past where I have been struggling. I remember in college I was working three jobs and at one point I was eating canned beans for every single meal and rice. Canned beans and rice which I still like you know it's still good. But that was what I was eating every single meal because I couldn't afford to eat anything else and I developed hives. Oh my god I could cry right now. <laughs> okay. I developed hives all over my body because I was so stressed out and like Seeing how far I've come, I am so grateful. I worked so hard and I started working corporate and I finally wasn't like struggling. And I thought that's what I wanted to do because I thought corporate was like everything. Like I thought that was like the end goal. That was, that was like, you made it. it was when you're working corporate and like you have a steady income and then when I realized that like that wasn't my end goal, that wasn't what was gonna make me the happiest, I put, I went straight back into being like dead broke and having nothing and being $10,000 in debt because I couldn't survive. And just working so, so hard to work for myself. And then that's when I started doing social media management for small businesses. And I finally got like a start on what I loved to do. And just like focusing a lot of time on, on YouTube as well. And when TikTok like started popping off, like that completely changed everything. And when I started doing OnlyFans, it also just helped me tremendously. And now here I am and like, I'm so grateful. I can't even, I can't even tell you guys how grateful I am. But I just wanna make sure that I'm on track. <laughs> so I'm trying to get my fucking life together here. Um, I don't know why I'm crying, but I'm just like really, really grateful. I just can't believe I'm where I'm at right now. And I am 
<sighs> just so happy and I want to keep growing and like keep going in the path that I want to be in <sighs> I think I have to end the clip here but <laughs> oh my god okay guys I'm back I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of figured out what system might work for you. I know I did and I'm very excited to get started on these plans. Don't forget to download the Tammy app and I'll see you in this video right here. Bye.